Hi, this is Barry from CNC Modeler. This is the uh, Braiding Machine Shuttle Assembly. Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to know more. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So, small assembly job here. Um, you can see there's three parts to the uh, main parts of the shuttle. There's the, the upright, there's the middle plate with the shoulders on that run in the slots and there's the bottom plate which has the um, peg on the bottom that engages with the gears. So uh, we reinforce all of this and hold it together with a screw so that the plastic doesn't shift. And then uh, what we do is we use some super glue to uh, hold these things together. Just for the record I always have some debonder on hand. Just a small dab on each of these uh, upper and these faces, this upper face of the middle part, and that um, is glued to the bottom part of the shuttle, um, and just aligned with the, the screw going through the hole. Uh, so you just hold that together a little bit. Uh, so they sometimes move for quite a while. Sometimes they stick almost instantaneously. And that um, the upper body. Piece with the um, with the mounting structure on it, I'll go on top there. Um, but uh, I've forgotten to put some glue on, so we'll uh, just put some more glue uh, to hold the uh, top piece onto that middle piece. Just again, just a tiny dab uh, on each uh, side, really with super glue least is more. Um, the less you put on, the better and quicker it seems to set and stronger it seems to hold. So just line these pieces up uh, manually, um, all guided by um, holes in the 3D printing to try and jig them as best as I can. Uh, it's just a process of um, just tweaking it before the glue sets too quickly. I have done this before and ended up with having to throw bits away because the glue set too quick. Um, so that doesn't look too bad. But now I've forgotten to put a bolt out on the tray. So just a second. Let's see if we can find one. And here we go. Nice. All right. So uh, now the bolt goes through in this hole here, and it's located in a hex that's printed into the um, top. Uh, normally I just clean these holes out with a uh, drill, uh, but uh, Oh, I'd forgotten to do that. I think if I'd uh, got the bolt before and done a wet uh, dry assembly, then uh, we wouldn't be doing this right now. So it's fairly tight, but it will go in, I'm sure. Uh, there we go. A bit of brute force and ignorance always helps. Uh, so now we put uh, on a washer and a sewing machine bobbin. Uh, I bought a job lot of 50 of those off eBay. Another washer and a half of a spring because I couldn't find a spring short enough that was the right diameter to go over the bolt and that um, had the right sort of amount of squeeze if you like strength. Then we just whack on another washer. There we go and a nylock bolt. Now this doesn't really get tightened up it's just uh, hand tight on the nylon and all I'm looking for is a little bit of friction to stop that bobbin running on its own. Um, the last piece that we've got is uh, I put an eyelet on the top of the uh, shuttles to uh, to guide the um, carbon fibre or whatever off the bobbin and keep it nice and clean. So these are um, uh, sewing needles for um, stitching together uh, wool jumpers and stuff, knitting basically. So you've got a nice big eye that's about 7 or 8 mil long, uh, nice and wide to get that um, fibre toe in through. Uh, so a little bit of super glue. And, um, this super glue is uh, thick super glue and um, does seem to work better uh, for doing this sort of job. So just uh, push that in through again a hole that's printed in the uh, 3D print and we just push that through. Oh, I could have done with cutting that a little bit shorter but it will do. It's not going to get in the way. So there you go. 
that's the uh, shuttle made up for the braiding machine. We'll be giving that a go in the second prototype in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully see you again next time. Cheers.